Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And in today's video, we are on a very monumentous occasion here in the Let's Play world. It is World Tour Day. We've gotten to episode 25, which means, with the logic here on YouTube, the common rule, it is World Tour time, which... This is the first ever world tour I am ever done here on YouTube, so I am stoked. And right before we get into that, are you subscribed? Please consider subscribing because we have so much awesome content on the channel coming up. We have SMP mushrooms, we have end castles, and a Minecraft hardcore, so I'd consider subscribing. There we go, we got that out of the way. It's time to start the world tour. We won't travel to spawn, so we did spawn over there in a little area. I think the biome's name is the Jungle Sparse, or the Sparse Jungle. It is a, it's basically a jungle without being a jungle. There's nothing out there yet. I, I planned something for it. I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk about it just to let you guys know. But, during episode 1, heading into episode 2, we came across this village. Not in the way it is currently built out. It was its generic villagey, villagey look. And we've done a really good job to at least beautify it up a little bit. So, obviously, you guys know the generic kind of look where you have... The gra the paths all unorganized, just it looking all grassy, trees in front of houses. And we were able to touch this up, so I added uh, Slabs' is rail rays, rail ra rail ways. Oh my! And then we cleaned up the pathways. We added some wheat a little over the place. I think this is a really nice touch to make it just look alive. Uh, moss all over the place just to make it make it a little a little bit of a standout look We have these azalea trees and From all of that Sorry, mr. Villager. <laughs> we were able to create a really really cool village and This village spawned with an ultra rare two Blacksmiths so the official name I don't know if I've said this in the series but the entire village down here, which is downtown, and this is upper town, this is supposed to be a little city or town by the name of Bloodlust. Obviously based off the name of Bloodlust Mansion, we'll get to it once we get there. But we are heading up here because after we discovered that village, there used to be a villager house up here. But we... We claimed it as our own, and then tore it down to create... To create... The starter base, which this is a really nice looking build by me, besides the two copper... Rods that I still haven't grabbed, and it doesn't make sense for them to be up there, because that's just going to make the lightning go right onto the wood, but... I I'm not... I'm not smart sometimes. But we have some vegetation going everywhere, we have... I was trying to go for a Japanese kind of look with the windows. I think I did a decent job on that. And yeah, it's very barren now. It used to be filled with so much stuff. The walls were full, if you guys remember. But eventually we moved. Uh, yeah. We removed a lot from over here. We do have our little table though, which I still really, I wanted to redesign this so it looked a little better, but it's still really cool to see how that ended up back then. Next, it, in the grand scheme of things, was very small, but it did count for an episode, and that is our wheat field. This, I designed basically like, okay, let's put a massive wheat field, and then put a lot of bamboo and uh, plants around it. It's very basic, but it still looks really good, mainly because if you put plants around everything, it just makes everything look better. But it is pretty big. It could have been bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> this ended up being pretty big for the most part. But 
It's not big enough. My original plan was to keep expanding it going down that way. Eventually, I will expand it, uh, expand this going this way. I do want it to head over to there. But I just haven't gotten to it. I've had so many other projects that this project kind of died with it. But right after that, our next project was... With the power of editing, 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 editing. Oh, with the power of editing, we have made it over to the sp uh, the cave spider spawner. Yes, it's not the most creatively built thing. There's just random stone everywhere. But we did build this. This does work pretty well for the most part. If you let this thing just sit for a while, like I'd say about two hours, it is pretty effective. It's not the greatest, though. I haven't really lit up all the caves around here, so it's not the best. But it exists. Our next build. Right after we accidentally found the end portal while trying to mine. I still can't believe we did that. That That is not even a joke. We accidentally found that. We came home dumbfounded. But with a couple of axolotl friends, and we created the axolotl. Oop, that's not the button. The that's not the the axolotl sanctuary build, or the enclosure, or whatever name you give this project. So we have our archway going over this. I added later because the main part was just getting this done. I wanted to do like a crescent moon shape, and then I decided to have a wall of Azale azalea leaves which weird sounding and then I decided to make an archway which this archway actually looks pretty decent I, I'm actually really happy with how this looks for the entire project as a whole and it just makes it stand out I really like this project and these guys seems like seem like they're loving it oh and then across the way we stumble across the one, the only, nether portal. The one, the only, nether portal. I decided to make this overgrown. I was watching some other YouTubers at the time. They had their portal just beautified. And I wanted to do that with mine. So I decided, okay, I'm basically the overgrown guy. So let me go and overgrow my portal. And it really looks really cool. So I decided to make it basically a massive rock. Uh, so if, you know, you know, actually, this is a good way to explain what I was actually thinking at the time. So do you know how when an amethyst is cut open, you have the rock layer, the basalt, and then you have the white layer, and then you have the pink, uh, pink, purple. That's kind of what I was thinking. So I had the purple here, and then the outside having the rock that's kind of what i was thinking and then we added a bunch of plants all around the outside once again i am the plant guy so it makes sense we haven't done really anything here in the nether sadly there's no builds nothing to really look at but we'll have to come back to it some other time we will build something eventually but right next to it literally right next to it is the enchanting cave which is really calming really so it's weird so really calming and really just hidden and we have our books here they originally had moss on them i found out that if you have moss or anything on these they don't actually work with the enchanting table and then back here we added a couple of essential items this was a small temporary video so we can get to other ones that's why it's not really bigger. I do want to eventually move this entire thing, close this down, and move it to some other area. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. The next build in chronological order in the series is our creeper farm, or what I like to call the big massive rock. This is a... I, will, I need to fix this. I eventually will come back and make this look more natural on the bottom. But for the most part, this is really cool having random rocks, having to be overgrown. I really, lo 
Really loved how it turned out for the most part. I'm fine with the gradient going up and down. <laughs> we head down here, and this is where all the creepers get killed. And have we had any today? Not many. We're not over here too often, so it doesn't surprise me. Next up is the big behemoth itself. My mansion. The Bloodlust Mansion. So... Within the episode, a lot of these detail blocks, like the blue rims and the plants, weren't really there. That was added after the episode. I was watching Dallas Med. I saw his mansion, and I'm like, I need a little bit more detail, man. And this was basically me, try me trying to figure out how I was going to do detail. Obviously, with some other builds we'll get to, you've noticed that I did improve. I still really love this build. I... <laughs> It's extremely massive, and I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. And if we head inside, we do have it decently furnished. I really like these stairs. We have a little desk area. We have uh, storage right under the stairs. This was supposed to be a map area. The game glitched, and my only this map survived. I don't know why. We have a little table. We have a little bar area nothing really here i transferred all or at least most of my items to my storage warehouse so they're not really here anymore we also have the second level in the kitchen i'm not going to share the kitchen because it's not furnished well at all and then we have our bedroom where we have the dragon head staring at me with his derpy face and the dragon egg which i am not even gonna dare to tap it this was from the time when we defeated the Ender Dragon. I was so proud of myself that it was the first time I ever beat Minecraft. So I was extremely excited about that. And then, <laughs> a building area that I had promised to build for most of the series. I finally got this done a couple episodes ago. The dock with the best custom, custom tree I've ever built. I am really proud of this tree. It looks really nice. I am extremely proud of it. We have a couple of lanterns in there. So it's mostly built out of azalea leaves and flowering azalea leaves, which I thought was really good. These are my favorite leaves by far. As we head down here, we have a little bit of a retaining wall leading down to our dock area, which we don't have any boats in. Eventually, I'll add boats to this area. But I was really proud of this. This, this was a really cool and interesting build. With little details all over the place, and I was really happy about it. And, yeah, we just, we have so many of these in the world that this has just become the breeding ground for oxidized copper. Yeah, it's, a, and it's an ugly area. We're just going to turn away. Into a transition. Oh, there's the transition to our horse stable. This is the first one I've ever built, really. And I was really happy for it. I like having these little details of having the hay so they can eat it. And then a little bit of moss. Cause, like, it could be grass that just fell on top. Fresh. We have our main horse. I have not used him because 1.18 uh, ter uh, terrain. Like, over here, it'd be fine to use him. Over here, it'd be fine to use him. But in most cases where you would use a horse, I haven't really used him. I need to use... Him or another horse in the future, in any of my series, I need to make an excuse to use these guys, because they're really cool. But I was really happy with... Lightning! I'm going to have to fix that later. I Come on, man! I thought these things were supposed to resist. But, besides that, because it was complete, you can watch the episode to verify... I really liked adding this little detail on top. It just, it was a really nice build all in general. Then we have our fish pond, built in episode 19. And I really liked it. I like building fish ponds and having them just feel alive. And this here just feels alive. I like having the purple everywhere with the uh, amethyst. I like having plants just growing everywhere. That's really something that just... Like, I could literally be known as the plant guy on YouTube, and it would not change a thing with my personality in this game. I love plant builds. And we have a couple of, uh, I about called these guys copper. Uh, cods and salmon. I could have added, uh, tropical fish, but I didn't really have any at the time. But 
I really like this build. It was a really nice build, a little small project, but you would not believe how long it turned to make this water actually stay still. The last overworld build we have on our agenda is the warehouse, built in episode 22, if I'm correct. And this was really nice. I wasn't sure about the granite being for the roof, kind of like copying what we did over there. But once we added the small details of having uh, just this uh, not polished granite and regular granite all over the place, it really did help for this as well. And also adding the second layer, I think, really helped because there is two layers to this. And as we head in, I tried to make it look as warehousey as possible. So we got a little bit of a, a nice floor, everything on pallets. This is trying to be like a pallet stack. That's what I was trying to go for. And having random pallets on the ground. Yes, I know this is supposed to be a fantasy world. But I couldn't help myself. I'm <laughs> My main job outside of Minecraft involves a lot of pallets. And I just thought pallets. And as we head up here, we have just extra storage. Similar to my job. There is an upstairs where we... Uh, where there is just extra stuff we can't fit anywhere, that's where I keep all my valuables. And the final build as concurrent to this episode is the Ender Project. Now this is an unfinished build. We have the out outer ring finished. The problem is that the end castle, which is going to be built here, is not done yet. But what we basically did, we uh, put a lot of dirt, moss, and uh, regular stone down. And we mossed it all up to make this dead area look like it had some life to it. And then we added a little bit of leaves right after. And then as we get more and more dead, because the way I look at it, there is no water, you know, here. So, of course, this is going to be the most dead. So we put chorus fruits, kind of like of a tumbleweed-like block, all the way around. And I think it's a really cool look, just being able to look around. It just seeing this all over eventually we will be coming back to finish the end castle project this is what's going to be used with all these obsidian pillars i'm just going to figure out what i'm going to do for it and then how many blocks it's going to take an extreme amount of blocks to get this done and this is basically going to be the mega base project in this world from here on out as long as this series continues, uh, this is really what I have planned. And I do want to have an overworld mega base eventually, maybe, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I think it's just going to be this because it's going to be massive. I'm not going to know what to do with it. But, folks, that is all I have to show you right now. This is the culmination of about four months and over 300 Minecraft days. But if you enjoyed this episode, I would greatly, greatly be gratified if you could subscribe. This series has been a blast throughout the past 24, now 25 episodes. And I can't wait to see what we do in the future moving forward. We do have a lot of new content coming in, and the Let's Play will be put on hiatus for a little bit. I want to focus on hardcore, and we have... <gasps> Edit that hiccup out, beard boy. And we have SMP content in mind at the moment. So we are covered for vanilla Minecraft. We are eventually going to be coming back for a season two in this world. And it's probably going to be in a new area, so we can restart now. <laughs> We're not going to be able to beat the Ender Dragon, but I'm fine restarting completely and building from a new area. That means Bloodlust, uh, the Bloodlust City, is complete. Which, it's weird to say that that project's complete, because I thought I'd be, like, ever changing it. But if we, when we do return... We're going to have to have a new area, and I do want it to be in a mangrove area, or 
I want it to be in an area I've never built before, and I'm thinking a mushroom island. It's crazy. I would like to build there, but we have to find one first. They're extremely rare. But we're going to see how long we can last in hardcore, so it might be a little bit. I would like to thank everyone who has been a part of this series. I would like to thank all the subscribers that have been able to come from this series. We had a couple. We had our subscriber of the month. I completely forgot to do the rest of the subscribers of the month, but we do have at least one that we highlighted here. The community has been great for the most part. We've had so many opportunities blown to this, uh, brought to this channel because of this Let's Play, and I am extremely proud and appreciative of what this Let's Play has done for my content and for this channel as a whole. It is extremely monumental, and I wish I was on this world sooner so we could have spent it a little bit more time during the 1.18 season. Because if you think about it, this is episode 25, we could have at least had up to 40 episodes, maybe even 50. But sadly, we're going to have to end this season here. Hopefully in the future we can come back to this world. I really want to. So, we'll see how that goes. I've